Hey guys, welcome back to the uh, Craig and Riley. No, go for it. <laughs> shut up. Shut up, shut up. Craig you put me off. Shut up, you put me off. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Michael won't, um, Michael won't, he'll edit that out. No, right. he won't. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. <laughs> yes, he will. Michael, don't. Yes, Michael, edit no, it out. No, no, don't. Yes, shut up. Stop don't. encouraging him. Stop don't. it. Stop it don't now. Stop it. it. Shut up. <laughs> will you shut up? Right, let's try this again. It's five o'clock on Wednesday and it's time for... A Craig and Ryland Magic Review Show. He's Ryland. You're Craig. <laughs> it's going to be one of them. And it's another review show right here on... Magic TV. Thank you once again for joining us. We have what Ryland said. This is what Ryland said just before we started filming. Might I think the easy. first trick that we see might be trick of the year, Dad. He actually said that, didn't you? Yeah, if, if there's nothing else after that comes, it's better than this. It might be trick of the year. Well, yeah, so in other words, right now, this is your trick of the year. Five months in, this is your trick of the year so far. Yeah. Um, and it's not even by Alakazam. Shock, horror, I know. Uh, what is the trick? Well, you're about to find out. Buckle up. Here we go. Ryland's trick of the year to this point is coming at you right now. So the, the, so the first trick of the Craig and Ryland Review Show and Ryland's trick of the year to this point is impossible escape. By Patricio Turin uh, and Penguin Magic. Yeah. Now, you learnt this, not me. Um, you took it away and you watched it and you were just like, I don't understand how that works. I don't. He, he normally tries to guess how the trick works from watching the tutorial, uh, from watching the trailer and then the live performance. And he was just like, I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. And I was in the other room. And after, it's only a short tutorial, isn't it? It's like 20 minutes long. After about 10 minutes. And the first three minutes is uh, live performance. Yeah, there's tons of live performance, isn't Which there? Is good. Um, and then after about three or four minutes, I just heard him go, no way! And then he had to pause the tutorial right there and go, I know how it works. I know how it works. I don't need to watch the rest of it. Luckily, he did watch the rest of it. But, um, and then came running over to me to perform it to me. And what was really annoying is I had no idea how it was working. <laughs> I, I couldn't understand it. I couldn't I, get I it. I explained it to you after. Do you know what? And then he, it, it passed the mom test because yeah, you showed it his mom, mom just, who just knows now. how everything works. Yeah. She never gets fooled. She was so annoyed with you. Yeah, I know. Tell me how it works. No, nope. <laughs> tell me how it works. No, nope. it's got to be something, obviously. Um, Thea was confused. Everybody was confused. This is a great trick. And then trip. I showed it her again. And she's like, it's got to be something with the... the, 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 yeah. the, the, the. Yeah. I'm like, right, watch again then. And I do it. And she's like, right, I know how it works. I'm like, tell yeah. me then. And she does it herself. She's like, right. And she tries to do it. She does it. She does it in the weirdest way ever. I know. Yeah. <laughs> she, She's and then she was like, well, I haven't watched the tutorial. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, um, if you don't know what it is, this is sick. This is right. incredible. Yeah, watch this. Let's have a look at a performance yeah. of this. Okay, so when I grow up, I want to be an escapologist. I know you do. Yeah. Now, if you're an escapologist, if you ever get put in jail, uh, you, you can get out, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So we've got like a prisoner here and we've got like a jail door. I'd like you to check them out and make sure it's normal. Um... Yeah, there's a hole and there's yeah, a there's slit. A, yeah, there's a mm -hmm. hole in two of them and there's a hole in both mm -hmm. of them. Yeah. And then there's uh, two slits in the jar door. That's because the prisoner goes inside the jar door. Because he's it. in the prison. Got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can see that he's in the prison, yeah? Yeah, I can see that, yeah. You can see. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the pin through here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. This, yeah, you can see. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Now, Daddy. Mhm. Mm if I hold it here and you pull, it won't come out, will it? No, it's it's locked in there. Yeah. Yeah. You hold it. Watch. Three, two, one. No way. You can see that the jail. Uh, the prisoner has escaped the jail. That's crazy. I love that trick. I love it. Now, what I really like about this is like you sets. get you get two sets. So you get a spare... I don't know where the other... Oh, you took the other set out. Yeah. So you get a spare set. Um, a spare and set. for people that love everyday carry, you get like five of these little pins. You get two uh, sets of cards. 
So if you like everyday carry and you want to put something really powerful in your wallet, all you have to do is just pop this through here like this, like that, flap those down, and now you can put those in your wallet like that, and you can take them out. Yeah, you can and... just take them out and go... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it'll so, fit in a yeah. credit card slot of a wallet, and you're good to go. It's instantly examinable. It's examinable before. It's examinable during. It's examinable afterwards. Yeah, it's an how it's examinable drawing is you put it through. Looks perfectly normal. Yeah. Looks, looks like it's yeah, been put yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can see. Because it has. You can yeah, see it's been put through. You can see. You can see yeah, both yeah, yeah, of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can see both of them. And then you say, you say, look, give it a little tug. Yeah. Yeah, you can't get And you through. genuinely can't feel that at that point. Yeah, you can you can pull it. The said you can pull it as hard as they want. Won't come. And you say, look, you hold it. And then what you go is you go, right, watch this. And immediately at that point. It just slides out. Immediately and everything's they can, they can just, examinable. They can just tide it over, they can see both pins, and they and then they can try and do it themselves. They, <laughs> I did it on you and you just took it out. You just took it out. I was trying to do it, yeah, failing miserably. You, you put it, my, she, when I showed it to my mom, she took it out. She put it through. She took the pin. She put it through. She went, she put it through, and then she did that. She had it, and she's like, yeah, yeah, did exactly what you did. Yeah, and then she went. And then threw it on the floor in disgust. <laughs> um, the other thing that you need to know is that these aren't made out of cardboard. I don't know if that shows up on the camera or not. These are made up they're of they're, they're made up of plastic sort of stuff. It's not it's it's not gonna break. It's not. It, it, I mean, not gonna, you, it yeah. will it will break, but not straight away. No, it's not gonna break for a long time if you look after it. And because they're like plasticky material, if you drop beer on them or something, if you're out at a gig, uh, you just wipe it off. It'll be okay. This is this is incredible. This is just a really cool trick. I've never seen anything like this before. It fooled me completely. I love it. I think this is great. Um, and it's just a fun thing to have in your wallet that you can do anytime, anywhere. This is absolutely going into my everyday carry. This is going into my wallet and this is staying in my wallet. Um, and I will be performing this a heck of a lot. I love this. You can present it as a puzzle. You can present it as an escape. You can present it as a trick. You can present it as an illusion. There's no angle issues to speak of. Yeah. Everything's examinable. Yeah. Um, it's an instant reset. You can do it yeah. walk around. You yeah. don't need a table. Yeah. Um, it happens in the spectator's hands. Yeah. They feel the magic. You can do it really yeah. slowly. Yeah. The tutorial's really good. The performances, the live performances, the Multiple live performances are great. This trick is sick. I'm yeah, giving this 150%. That's a hard distance. I love it, I really do. One million bajillion. Not One. minus a bajillion, bajillion. A billion bajillion. What? A bajillion. No, I don't know. Just give me a percentage, you <laughs> weirdo. A million bajillion percent. A babillion. Is that good? Yeah, babillion, bajillion. A babillion, bajillion, whatever. It's <laughs> babillion, no bajillion. idea. A pa a translation, it's good. So, uh, <laughs> good trick. It's trick of the year so far. Uh, we love this. Let's trick move on. Obviously, if it's trick of the year, it's trick of the week. Obviously, if it's trick of the year, it's trick of the week. <laughs> hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. You're saying this is trick of the year. Yeah? I've got one word for you. One word. What? This is trick of the year, right? I think so. Yeah. I've got one word for you. Why? Cube Buster. Did that come out last year? No, it came out at Blackpool this no. year. No. And you've done that in every single show since you've had it at Blackpool. <laughs> I don't know now. You don't know now. <laughs> Have I thrown a spanner in the works? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Let him ponder over that. Either way, it's an amazing trick. I love I this. <laughs> Henry, Harrius, if you're listening to this, Ryland doesn't love you anymore. <laughs> he doesn't like you anymore. He doesn't like your magic. Apparently, your super engineered cube gimmick that he uses in every stage show, a piece of plastic with a hole in it is better. You know, just saying. Let's move on. So next up we have Double Down by Leo Smestas and Double Down is a combination of one of Leo's best-selling tricks of all time which is Whiteboard Monty 
and uh, Fast and Loose, uh, the sort of version of Fast and Loose that you'd see somebody like me or Yidid do at Mind Magic. Now, uh, th what you have here is you have three whiteboards and three pegs and a, a piece of uh, chain, necklace, necklace or a chain, an endless chain. And uh, the idea is that you put them all together and you've got this like you've seven or eight minutes yeah, act. Yeah, seven or eight minutes act, yeah. The, that's all designed it around is, gambling. It is sick. It is really, really it's good. Sick. It is really good. Uh, if you've not seen the Whiteboard Monty or the Fast and Loose before, um, I'm going to perform it for you. This is pretty much exactly how uh, Leo uh, suggests you do it yeah. on the tutorial. Let's have a look at the performance and then we'll talk about what we think. Yeah. Okay, Ryan, you want a chance to win some money? Yeah. I'm going to give you a chance to win some money. I've got something in my red bag of mystery. Okay. There's a few things in there. We'll get back to that in a bit. Uh, the important thing is this right now. I've got three mini whiteboards, okay? And you'll notice there's holes in one side. That will become important a little bit later on. It's the other side that's interesting. There's nothing on them, right? And we're going to be using these whiteboard surfaces to do something amazing. Well, specifically one of them, that one. I want you to put your name on there for me. And that is going to be the money board. So in other words, if you can tell me where that is, I will give you a, a prize. I'll tell you what I'll do. If you can tell me where it is, you can have your sister's switch. Thank you. We've even got a magic wand in there and a smiley face. It's very exciting. You can get your sister's switch. Yeah. Okay. So to make it easy, I'll let you win the first one. Where is it? in the middle right and that's the thing you need to remember it's always going to be in the middle now, it's a little bit harder to follow if i do it like this you gotta follow the ryland one do you understand you just gotta follow the ryland one where is it that one. are you sure yeah. no because you see that's an arrow actually pointing to the middle and this one here is an arrow pointing to the middle because i told you it's always in the middle maybe you missed it look let me do it again it's always in the middle look if i just do this and i put it in the middle but then i switch it like that where is it I've told you, dude, that's the little arrow telling you. There's even arrows telling you where it is. It's in the middle. Look, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's stop putting it in the middle. I'll put it over there, and I'll put the two arrows further away. So now there's just one. Where is it? What, you think it's over there? No, that's an arrow telling you where it is. It's over here, right? <laughs> do you know how it works? Yeah. It's really simple. You actually signed three chips. I hypnotized you so you didn't realize, but that one's actually been signed with your name. That one's been signed with your name. That one's signed with your name. They've all been signed with your name, you see? So it doesn't really matter how I mix it up. It makes absolutely no difference because you're always going to get it right because there's Rylands everywhere. Even if you picked uh, like a different one, the Ryland would be there. You see, the Ryland's What's always that? everywhere. So if I put the Ryland out the way over there, it doesn't matter because even if I just use two, you know that that one there is the Ryland, you know that one's there's the Ryland, and this one over here is the Ryland, that one, we've got nothing but Ryland. The interesting got? thing is, if I want to do this and I snap, oh, hang on, we've still got Ryland. Let me rub that Ryland down. Now, when I rub one Ryland out, what happens is... Now the arrow comes back over there, the arrow comes back over there, and there's not even a Ryland until I put those back in place like that, and I stack one more time, and now I've got nothing on that one, nothing on that one, nothing on one that one. Are you following this? No. Me neither. Look, I tell you what, maybe that's too confusing. Would you still like another chance to win your sister's switch? Yeah. I've got more stuff. <laughs> of course not. These are little sticks, and the sticks go inside the, uh, the bases. Okay. Now, take your hands off the table. You'll also notice that we have here a necklace, right? Now, I should tell you that the, the three colours are psychologically trying to influence you. Um, three different colours, yellow, green and, and red. Here's the interesting thing. In a minute, you're going to pick one of these sticks. I'll tell you right now, almost everybody picks the yellow stick. Hardly anyone picks the green stick and only losers pick the red stick. Oh, and by the way, I've never lost at this game, just so you know. Right. So the idea of this game is very simple. I have to just wrap this around the three sticks. And then when I wrap it around the three sticks, I've wrapped it in such a way that one is gonna stick when I pull the uh, when I pull the, the chain. Which one? But the two are going to two are going to be loose. And I always am in control over which one sticks. Now if you know what you look for, you can tell. So, for example, I know here that the red one is going to stick. So if I took the other two out and I pulled, you'd see it would stick, right? If you can get the one that sticks, you're going to win your sister's switch. It's as simple as that, okay? So, watch very carefully. Make sure I don't cheat. I'm just going to wrap it around like that. 
wrap it around like that, wrap it around like that. That's all I have to do. One of them is going to stick. Have a good look, have a think, and then let me know which one you think is going to stick. The green one. The green one's going to stick, are you sure? Yeah. There we go, let me take the other two out of the way. The green one, yeah? Let's give it a little pull. Oh, mate. Looks like Fia's still got her switch. I tell you, I'll give you another chance because I like you. I wouldn't <laughs> do this for anyone else, but I like you. I'll give you another chance, all right? Give you another chance. Are you ready? Uh -huh. All I got to do, watch, make sure. Watch carefully. There we go. You know what you got to do. Which one's going to stick? If you know what you're looking for, you can tell. Which one's going to stick, Mike? The yellow one's going to stick. Are you sure? Yeah. So not these two. The yellow one. You're a winner. You're a winner. You're a winner. You're Oh, you're a loser. Oh, well, that's a shame. I tell you what, we'll get rid of one of them. Which one do you want to get rid of? We'll just use two. Make it easier to find. Which one do you want to get rid of? Red one. You want to get rid of? Oh, yeah, because only the losers pick a red one. Okay. So, watch. With two... It's a relatively it's easy. easy, it's easier to follow because there's only two. And if you know what you're watching for, it's even easier. So for example, I know that the green, the green one will, no, the yellow one's gonna stick on this one. Yeah. So when you know, you know what you're looking for. So simple enough, simple enough. you're not gonna get this wrong. I, you're not gonna get it wrong. <laughs> Confidence is what's important. Okay, there you go. You got, I'll even, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll make it easier to follow, I'll pull it back here, and we'll do that, what? and that, and that, and that. Why do you do that? There you go. I'm trying to help you, subtly. It's a bit more hard. I've got the yellow or the green. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Which one's sticking, Ryan? I think it's going to be yellow. The yellow is going to stick? Yeah. Even though I've wrapped it around loads of times, right? Yeah, the yellow. You think the yellow's going to stick? Yeah. I think you're trying to make me think it's going to be the green. <laughs> i tell you what. We'll leave just one. Which one do you want to leave? I'll leave the green. Okay. We'll make it easier to follow. This is your last <laughs> chance. This is your last chance. Your very final chance to win your sister's money, okay? Your sister's switch. Yeah. Let me explain. Look, I've made a little cross. Okay. Now, there's two sides to the cross. One side and the other side. One side will always stick. One side will always be loose. And I'm in control of it at all times. So, for example, if I put it here like this, right? Uh -huh. And I pull that side, it's sticking. You see? Can you yeah. see that? Yeah. I'm in control of how to do this and I can make it whichever side I want to. So, for example, I know that is not going to stick. That's going to go loose. Do you understand? One side sticks, one side goes loose. Last time. If you get this right, I'll buy you 17 switches. I don't know why you'd want 17. Which I can't imagine for a second why you would want 17 switches. But, you Just know, I don't really know how to do it. There you go. There you go. Hang on. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I've got 17 switches on the line right now, Ryan. I'm a little bit concerned. Why is this not doing this? I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried you're going to get my 17 switches off me. I haven't even got 17 switches. That's, 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 that's the major concern here. All right, there we go. So, one side is going to switch, stick, and one side is going to come loose. Your job is to put is to put it on here so that the side that sticks holds it. And if you get it right, you win. I can either do it like that or like that. Right. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you positive? Yeah. No, I'm not positive. Do you want to try again or are you okay? I'm okay. So if this sticks, 17 switches. Grab there, give it a gentle pull. Oh, look, it's going to stick. 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 Oh, no, it's not. Oh, well. Um, I'll tell you what. I 
keep ever all of this stuff. You yeah. don't get 17 switches, uh, but thank you very much, Ireland, for playing. So that's Double Down. Now, um, what the the, it's a good tutorial. It's about 40 minutes long. It starts off with Leo explaining what the props are that you've got. Then it cuts to the original Whiteboard Monty tutorial, because everything you do with Whiteboard Monty, you can do with this. And then it cuts back into the studio with him explaining how to use the pegs and how to do fast and loose. So first of all, Whiteboard Monty, and you can do this separately. So you could just do Whiteboard Monty and then do, uh, and not do fast and loose, or you could do fast and loose and not do Whiteboard Monty, or you can put them together. Also, in the Whiteboard Monty section of the tutorial, um, uh, Leo spends a long time uh, talking about other ideas with the whiteboards as well, such as card reveals and um, mentalism style applications. So there's a bunch of stuff that you can do with it. Um, there's a full live performance in front of a real group of people as well, which is really good. Um, yeah, I uh, the performance that you just saw, I did it exactly as Leo did it. I wouldn't necessarily have the signature replicate onto the three discs. I think that that gives the game ways to how it works. I would rather present that as a gambling demonstration. I do do three disc Monty an awful lot with other styles of discs. So, um, you know, being able to do it with these whiteboards is great. And then having the ability to then take out the pegs and go into something like fast and loose is even better. And everything is self-contained inside a little bag. So you have everything inside this bag and you can take it out and you can do it, which makes it practical because a lot of the time when I, uh, I've done, I've done sort of fast and loose, this style of fast and loose quite a lot in the past with a prop yeah, that I, I got I've from. Yeah, got, I've got one of them. It's like, um, it's like a big black board yep. with three like silver sticks and a big, big gold chain. That's right, yeah. And it's a lot to carry around. Whilst with this, everything just fits it's inside. It just goes inside a little red bag. Yeah, it's just a little red bag. The only and before thing... you ask... Nice. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. The one, yeah, thing that I yeah, would, the one thing that I would say is that it would have been better if there was a better chain supplied. Um, the chain's okay. It does what it's meant to do, but it's not an endless chain. It's more of a necklace. I think it's better if you've got an actual endless chain, the sort of thing that... Um, uh, sort of scam school sold and so on and so forth. That's the only thing that I'd say, but you can get those chains separately if you want to. And there is no problem with the necklace that you receive. There's no problem with it at all. I just personally would prefer to use a, a, a slightly better quality chain. But outside of that, that's the only negative I can say about that. I love the fact that Leo's taken two really good props, combined them into one and given the ability to do it now in any environment. So you can do this anywhere that you want to. That's the great yeah. thing. I mean, obviously. You, do a walk around? you know what? You could. And I think how you'd do it is you'd have three people hold their hands out next to each other. So you'd say, you know, I'll hold my hands here. Can you hold your hand there next to me? Like this. And you'd put one of the things on each hand. And then you'd do it there and you get the person opposite to pull. I think that would oh, work. I I've never that. tried it, but I think that that would work realistically unless you've got someone that's mm. really annoying realistically i think it's better to have a table but you don't need a special table service or anything a, like that you don't need a table you don't need a table but i think it would be better if you're in an environment where you have got a table if you don't do i do a lot of gambling theme style routines not gambling as in poker or anything like that but gambling as in scams three three disc monty three um three shell game trade show shells things like that i do an awful lot of stuff like that yeah yeah and and this is an incredible prop this is a really great prop with a really great tutorial so if you've never done fast and loose before if you've never thrown discs before this is a really great start that teaches you all the moves that you need to know. And then you can expand on it and you can go in a different direction and you can create your own routines and your own sequences and your own ideas. As it is, I think this is great. I love it. I'm going to give it 99%. This is absolutely going to be something I'm going to carry around with me in my close-up case. 99%, what about you? I'm going to give this... 99. 99%. 99%. 99% from me, 99% from Ryland. It's a great trick. Now we're going to move on with something else. Yeah. Okay, so the next trick that we're going to be reviewing is Dicey Dots by Daryl. Now, uh, this Dicey is... Dicey Dots is awesome! <laughs> Daryl, um, obviously, was one of the greatest magicians of all time, and Murphys have been slowly 
releasing his uh, tricks through their legacy line, the Daryl's legacy line. And I have been saying for as long back as anybody will listen to me that I've been wanting Dicey Dots for a long time. Dicey Dots was one of my favourite Daryl tricks. Sick. Now, you and I need to address a bit of a controversy that's been taking what? place with this. And I didn't tell you about the controversy What's because happening? I wanted your honest opinion on camera. Before we go into what the controversy is, I'm going to play the performance of this that you did earlier. Okay. You've been doing this at gigs, haven't you? Yeah. We've had this now for a couple of weeks. Yeah, it He's works fine. And then there's another version that I actually do with yeah, it. I know, but, but that's a totally different better. thing. This one's better. This one's um, better. This one is better. So let's talk about... Let, well, first of all, let's see Ryan performing this to me. And then when he's performed it to me, we're going to talk about what we think and we're going to address the controversy. Yeah. So first of all, let's have a look at a performance. Yeah. Okay, so I've got dice here. Like, to check the dice is normal. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Let's... It's not one of those tricks where you like roll it and it's uh, an oh yeah. Like it's always got it's always, a, it's always a four or one. <laughs> four, four, <laughs> six. six. Okay, I'm good. Five. Five I'm happy. Six, six two, two. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, one. one. Okay, so I want you to hold your hand out for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then uh, turn your hand over. Now, what I have here is I have a spot remover. A spot remover. A spot remover. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the spots off the dice. Come on, take here. You ready? No way! Ready? Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> you got, we got the dots here, yeah? Now, if you open up your hand, then look at the dice. There's no spots. Yeah. That's ridiculous. And you can check, there is the right amount of spots. So I'll have to put any extra spots. <laughs> it's fine. That's stupidly good. That's okay. awesome. Love it. Cool, so right? while we were breaking to put that performance in there, Ryland said, just tell me the controversy. <laughs> I'm telling you on camera. So first of all, I need to say that one of the reasons why Dicey Dots is one of my favourite tricks of all time that Daryl did is because it is super commercial. I love the moment where the dice, I, I love that moment where they've got this stick and boom, all of the spots appear on it oh, and they open no. up their hand yeah, they, and there's no yeah. spots. It's a bit like a SpongeBob yeah. style moment. Yeah, it um, is. It is. But instead know. of reversing, it's... Yeah, it's well, I'm the opposite to reversing it. Really, really good. Really, oh, really good. And Javier explains everything on there really, really well, uh, as you would expect from, from Murphy's. So here's the problem, right? Most of the internet have been complaining about the quality of the props. And the reason is, if you look at the dice very carefully, you can see that there's a bit of, you know, like, you can, you can kind of see it's not really printed very well. Like on that two side, you can see another dot underneath where it's where it's a two. Um, and, and you can see here on the dots on this stick, they're not, you know, they're not perfectly printed. Yeah, and, and then, look, you can see that that dot there is smaller than that. Yeah, you can see that there's a few inconsistencies. And I believe that Murphy's, I don't know for sure, I've not spoken to anyone at Murphy's, I believe that they've been pulled from the market. Uh, they've been taken off sale because so many people are unhappy with the quality and I believe they might be coming out again in the future. I don't know. I haven't spoken to Murphy's about this. However, for me, I yes, I don't think the really quality... I don't think the quality is great, but if you compare this to the egg bag thing that we looked at last week, <laughs> there is a world of difference. There is a world of difference. There is a world of difference because that egg bag thing that we looked at last week, it couldn't oh, be done. Oh you looked at it and it had the clean, you it know. Looked, it, had... it looked really cool because it was an egg bag with a Kinder Egg. First of all, when I look at the Kinder Egg, it's not a Kinder Egg and it's been wrapped terribly. Then I realised that the egg doesn't fit inside the bag. And the bag's just really low quality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, the... but, not, but not on about that. But in terms of, but you couldn't perform it because the egg didn't fit in the bag and the egg didn't... <laughs> This, you can perform. You have to use brute force to perform. That's it why I didn't want to talk to you about the controversy beforehand, because I want to know what your opinion is, because you've gone out and gigged this. I, 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 I noticed that there's, it's not perfect, but I, there's no problem. There's no problem. There isn't. But it's not really a problem, because I've done it. I've done it. It works. Yeah. No one's noticed. It's perfectly fine. Like, occasionally I ask someone, oh, what's that? And I'm just like, oh, I've dropped the dice on the floor a bit. Yeah. It's not really a problem. You just say, oh, I've dropped out the Yeah, floor. if it gets reissued with a better quality dice, 100% will Yeah, I would, I would get that. But it shouldn't but it stop you from performing fine. it. It's yeah. perfectly fine. And if you do do it, I'll show you how I've been doing it and how I used to do it years ago. So you do the first phase where you put it into the spectator's hands and you bring the stick out, but you keep the other die uh, in your hand. So you do that and you get the things and they open up their hand and it's there. 
and then you throw it back into your hand and you say if you want to get the uh, the the if you want to get them back you just do this and now they're back on there and I actually yeah. have them go back on and then what I do to finish off is I put it back into their hand again and they squeeze it and I just squeeze this and I make the stick disappear and now everything's uh, gone yeah. and then I finish off by making that disappear and that goes as well so and then I'm reset it's perfect, yeah. yeah um look it's not the greatest not, quality of all time. Not good quality, but it works. It yeah, works. it does. It, <laughs> it works. It works. As and long as it works, it's fine. It works. It gets really... No, I, I think that if the quality... Yeah, no, if it works. Yeah, if it, yeah. As yeah. long as it works. Nobody but at has, least it works. Nobody has performed... Nobody I performed this to has gone, hang on a minute, that would have been a good trick if it wasn't for the fact that the dice looked a little bit 3D printed. Um, but I... Yeah, I mean, look, I'm not going to give it... I. I love Dicey Dots. If this was the standard that I expected it to be, this would get 100%. As it is, I've been waiting to get my hands on Dicey Dots again for years. I'm still doing this in the real world. I'm still doing this at gigs. So it gets over 80%. I'm going to give this 90% because the reactions are killer. Oh, I was killer. actually thinking on giving that. Yeah. But, if, if, but I'm telling you right now, if Murphy's managed to get another one out where the quality is better, it will go straight up to 100% for me because I yes, love this. Yes. As it is, it's 90%. Um, but if a better quality one comes out, it's going to get 100 Yeah. Yeah, would you agree? Yeah, I agree. 90% for me and him. Let's move on. Okay, so next up we have Ryan Lehan, Lehman. We seem to be reviewing his stuff every week at the moment. Uh, or every couple of weeks. Um, he's brought out some great stuff recently. We've been given really good reviews for. This is Kong Coins. Uh, and uh, it says on here, uh, four jumbo coins, nine routines, and 12 slights. Uh, you can get them only from Lehman Magic. So what are Kong Coins? Well, basically, they are four Chinese jumbo coins. They're not traditional three-inch coins. They're probably more about two and a quarter um maybe two and a half uh but they're very well made chinese coins that he calls kong coins you also get a custom made pouch to put them in that are designed to fit them perfectly you also get a holder that, that attaches to your belt uh and the idea is that these coins fit perfectly inside this uh, this coin holder here Nice. Um, so they, that, that's just elasticated and goes around there and that goes on your belt loop so that you can literally just put your hand down by your side and you can squeeze these out directly into your palm so you can produce nice. them if you want to. Um, and as it says on the front of the box, it is a very long three hour tutorial with really? 12 slights and nine routines. So what this is, is this is uh, I mean, that's Ryan. Not as long as your nine hours. But no, it's but it's still off. very long. And it's basically a complete project on routines with these coins. And what uh, Ryan's done is he's taken every single coin plot that uh, he's interested in, like hanging coins, three fly, coins across, penetrations, transpositions. And he's put them into jumbo coins. And he's, put them into jumbo coins and he's come up with some really unique moves they're that you can of, use. They're kind of like Chinese yeah they are and it's really he's got some really nice slights with these i very much like the uh he's got a yeah, a vanish when you've got three coins and you vanish one of them uh looks really good he's got some wonderful ideas with it um it what, the, the first part of the tutorial there's no live performances to people unfortunately oh, the first part of the I know the first part of the tutorial is literally just him explaining all these different slights and he performs the slight to camera then he explains it and then there's an over the shoulder shot where he covers it with just music playing in the background which is great because some of these are a little bit more complicated this move for example where you've got three and oh yeah get it right sorry where you've got three and you make one of them disappear um takes a little bit of practice yeah um so, but there's a ton of routines on there as well. There's like nine routines. Uh, and the idea is that you can connect all these routines together into a longer routine. There's various different versions of Matrix on there. Um, but just some really cool stuff. So I'm going to take three of those routines. Now, I'm still practicing with these at the moment. I think I'm okay. Are you going to add them all together? Um, I'm going to take three routines and put them together. These are the three that I'm practicing at the moment. I'm going to start with a... Um, um, kind of a hanging coins to her style routine, then go into a coins across style routine and then finish off with a three fly. 
Um, the more I do this, the better I'm going to get at it. I am going to put this into my act. I think this is really good. I don't want to get really good at them. This is something that's going to take a lot of practice. I've been a coin worker for a lot of years and I've done a lot of jumbo coin magic. Um, but I, even I'm having to spend a lot of time practicing with it because it's not stuff that comes naturally. It's new moves. It's learning how to do this stuff. But uh, let me show you the three routines that I've been working on up until this point and put them together into a little coin set. Okay, so I have a little pouch and inside this pouch I have coins. Now these are not normal coins, these are big Chinese coins uh, from China that have holes in the, uh, in the front of them. And these Chinese coins, uh, they have symbols and the symbols mean made in Taiwan. Now I want you to watch very carefully, don't blink. We're going to take these three coins and show you something amazing. Starting with this one, then these two. This one first, if I take these two and wave it over this one, what happens is that one completely vanishes, leaving us with two. Now let's do that again, watch. If I take the second one and blow, that one vanishes completely. That leaves us with one last coin. Now watch the last coin, I'm gonna go really slowly. If I take this last coin and squeeze, that one vanishes as well. Now, where do they go? Well, watch carefully right there on top of this. Watch there, because if I just rub when I do, I get one on top. I get one underneath and I get one inside, which is really interesting. But now we'll see if we can go one step further. We'll get rid of this pouch for a minute. I'll put it over there and we're going to see if we can go one step further. Watch the three coins. Don't blink for a minute. One, two, three. Ryland's behind the camera. Can you see them right? Coins go over here and the idea is to make them jump into the other hand. Now watch, if I do this, I can actually pull the first one out and it, it goes through my hand. Let me do that again for you. Watch the next one. That one comes out as well. That's the second one. I want you to watch the last one. This one's the hardest one. You know what's going to happen, but that one comes out as well from the hand. Now, maybe you miss the moment that happens. I mean, a lot of people do. So I'll tell you what, we'll do it one last time, but with the coins at the tips of my fingers. Watch the three coins, because you see if I do this, the first one jumps into the other hand. You see, it was over there, but it jumped over here. Now let me try that again for you. You see the two over there, you see the one over here. If I just go up and down and do this, that would be the second one across, that's coin number two. Watch the last one, the last one goes in slow motion, that's slow motion. It's not very impressive, I can tell that. Full speed looks like this. I combine the illusion. I get the last one over there like that. That's one, two, three, and that's so there you go. That was uh, that was kind of a hanging coins. That was a coins across, and that was a three fly. There's a lot to love about these coins. There really are. Um, there's only two negatives that I would say with the whole project. The first negative is um, no live performances. Yeah. That's um, what I mean, yeah. The second negative is. He, there's an entire section on the tutorial where he talks about how to take these coins and shrink them down in size and then make them grow again. Uh, and he's got various different slides to do that. But you don't get the small coins. And he says you're going to have to... I've got one of the small coins. Yeah, and yeah, he I've got kind of one. Yeah, well, what it's he says... Sort of yeah, he says you're going to have to source your own coins and find coins that look like these but are smaller. Which yeah, I don't I've think got, is is great. I think that if I you're gonna, I saw I've got one that sort of looks like that that yeah. I found. Yeah, but my point is, if you're going to, you know, make a big deal on your tutorial about shrinking coins down in size, and he's got you've this gotta, lovely you've routine. Supply this Either one supply one. it or show you exactly where you can get it from. He's got this lovely routine where he takes a coin and he shrinks it down, and then. Uh, you know, he, he then takes the other coin and he shrinks that one down. There's so many different routines. This is just fun to practice. That's what this is. I've been carrying these around with me everywhere. I've just been popping them in my little pouch, carrying around with them with me everywhere. And the, the, the moves and stuff, they're just, everything is just fun to practice with it. Yeah. Um, and I, I do want to actually start putting this. So no, there's only two, two negatives oh, as far as I can see. No, live, yeah. live performances and... The lack of help. So the three when it comes hours. To... There's only there's only two negatives. That's only two negatives. Yeah, um, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, there's some great routines on there, but I think that once you've learned his slights uh, and you uh, you know you start creating your own slights, I think you'll come up with other routines for these as well. I think that if you're a coin worker, I think you have to be an advanced coin worker or an intermediate to an advanced coin worker to enjoy these. I'm not really. You you're you're intermediate. <laughs> I mean, you do like. 
a lot of really complicated stuff with coins. You do Hang Pin Chen, you do Gallo Pitch, yeah. you can classic palm four coins and <laughs> drop them one at a time. Um, you do a lot of stuff with coins. I'd consider yeah. you an intermediate coin worker. Your problem is your co your hands are too <laughs> small to be able to. Yeah, your hands are too small. That's the problem. And I've got um, to learn it in America. Yeah, and yeah, you'd have to transfer all the moves over. Um, but if you're into coin magic and you want to add an extra element, I'm just having fun practicing this. They're not the cheapest things in the world. They're over 100 bucks. But you are getting like a big tutorial. But you they, are getting all are, the really are, good stuff. And this is nice as well. This holder for them is yeah, really nice. Yeah, that's good. Um, I'm, I'm playing around with just starting off by producing the coins one by one from Tenkai Palm, which is... Uh, I think if I can get that down, I think it'll look really good. You know, kind of like, just like producing the coins one at a time before I actually go into something else. Uh, if you're doing banquets, having coins this size, you know, will really just help. So, yeah, I like it. Stage, that wait, sort of thing. Wait, 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 wait. Could you... I was just thinking, mate. Could you, like, use even bigger coins? Yeah, you could. <laughs> you could. Could you use even bigger coins? Probably not, but... Yeah, I don't know. You probably could. What, get but your I massive like... jumbo coins at that point? I like... I like the size of these. I like the size of these. I'm going to give this um, 90, 99%. I think this is really good. It's fun to perform. And that's the thing. You know, sometimes uh, we take magic a bit too seriously. And the reason I got into magic in the first place is because I just love practicing new ideas and new moves. You do. You practice all the time. Um, and this is just something really fun to practice, whether I end up doing it or not. This is just a really fun thing to practice and get the new moves down. So I'm going to give this 99%. I really like it. What about you? 98%. 98? Yeah. 98 means that you're going to do this and your hands are too Probably not. tiny. Mm, no, it's got to give it 79. 79. I mean, you know, you got your hands. I remember it was only about three years ago when you couldn't even manipulate a Rubik's Cube. You couldn't do the one-handed cube solve yeah, but because for... your hands were too small. You couldn't get your ring finger around to yeah, do it. Yeah, but three years for me is such a long time. Three years? For me, for me, I'm 10. Yeah? Three years for me is a very long time. So when you're 13, you'll be able to do this trick? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. Right, uh, we got one last bonus. Uh, ex uh, uh, <laughs> you okay? We've got one last bonus trick that we're going to review, uh, and then we're going to wrap this up. Okay, so for the final review today, we're going to be looking at the Ultra Cane by Bond Lee, uh, the ultimate the appearing of cane. Canes you've got. Yeah, we've got appearing canes everywhere. Because Ryland's decided in his stage show, he wants to use appearing canes for everything. He opens up the show with, an, with a vanishing cane. Then he goes into an appearing cane. What's he doing at the end of the multiplying balls? Oh yes, appearing cane. What's he doing at the end of almost every single trick? Making canes appear. You have you watch his show, you end up with a production of about a hundred canes. It's ridiculous. So yes, we have appearing canes everywhere. Yes, yes. And we wanted to do a review. We've had a few people ask about appearing canes. We wanted to say that we have looked into every single appearing <laughs> yes, cane. The and best Bondi one is the ultra yeah, it's the best one ultimate. We cane. found the best one we found was the Ultra Cane by Bondley. Lots of different MS colours. Magic. Lots of different colours. Uh, in fact, you did it on Instagram. They've got Instagram. the rainbow, they've got the red and white. In fact, do you know what? We'll play one with the rainbow. Yeah. yeah well, well, you yeah, yeah. Ryan went to TGI's a little while ago and while I he was there... I took my uh, rainbow cane. And, rainbow. and made it appear and put it on his Instagram. Let's show you that footage just so you can see what the, uh, the cane looks like when yeah. it appears. That's the uh, the ultra cane. I mean, it is it really. Is. It's, it's solid. better than most versions. Like we got another version. I'm not going to use that. That's that's kind of like a practice one. But this. This is the cane. This is the one. This is well, not this one. I've got this version. Yeah. Although this you're gonna you're, you're planning on using this in your kids show, aren't you? Yeah, I'm not going to use this one. I might. I'm going to use the rainbow one. And I'm gonna need a yellow one. <laughs> yeah, well, we've got you a yellow one as well. So we've got we've got appearing canes everywhere. It's sick, man. Um, so yeah, sick. if you're looking to do an appearing cane routine in your act, get the uh, get the ultra cane. Get the ultra cane by Bond Lee. How much is it? I'm giving it 100. How much is it? Oh, it's about thirty dollars, forty dollars. How much like is that? That's slightly less, but nowhere near as good. Yeah, yeah, this is better. Yeah. yeah. So get the appearing, get the ultra, get the ultra cane. cane. 
Yeah, we had a few people asking about this. So this is a, an older item, so it's not like we're going to spend too much time on this. But if you're looking to add an appearing cane Most into your act... Most people know the appearing cane. <laughs> yes, thank you. If you want to add an appearing cane into your act, Ultra Cane is the way to go. It is incredible. There's another V-shirt in the bag. 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 It is another review show in the back. Thank you once again for joining us right here on Magic TV. Uh, we will be back again next week with another review show. However, if you want to, you can follow Ryland on Instagram. He's Ryland the Kid Magician on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Yep. You're on almost 17,000 followers now on Instagram. That's insane. <laughs> um, and if you want to um, subscribe to this YouTube channel, I would really appreciate it. Most importantly, if you would like to go check out my online streaming platform, which is something I'm very, very proud of, you can go to... www.thenetrix.cookies I warned him. Next time he said cookies, he would end up on the floor. What is it, Ryland? What is it? It's www.thenetrix.cookies Ignore him. We will be back again next week. Ryland might not be here. I might have replaced him with his sister. But one of us will be back at least. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Craig. Come and sit. Come and sit down. Come and sit down. <laughs> Say goodbye to everybody. I'm Craig. I'm Ryan. We'll see you again next week on the Craig and Ryan Review Show. Wave it everyone. Say bye. Bye bye.